Hello dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel, where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I quickly encourage you to please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Please kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate your support. In continuation of their demand for a referendum, members of the Nigerian Indigenous Nationalities Alliance for Self-Determination, NINAS, have adopted the use of mobile Vern to advertise their demands in New York, the United States, where the United Nations meeting is ongoing. In a video obtained by Sahara reporters, the van boldly displayed electronic messages such as Nigeria is a scam for passerbys to see. One of the agitators said, disgracing Nigeria and Buhari at the United Nations headquarters, New York, we are far ahead of this scheme against them. On September 14, the members of NINAS started a planned protest in the front of the United Nations headquarters in New York, the United States. The coalition of agitators for self-determination consists of Southerners and Middle Belt people under Ilana Omo Odua, Lower Niger Congress and the Middle Belt Movement. Led by Professor Banji Akentoye, Tony Nadi and Yusuf Turaki, respectively. In photos obtained by Sahara reporters, they took to some streets to drive home their demand for a referendum so as to actualize their dream of having Nigeria broken into separate nations. The group had earlier stated that it would hold a protest at the 76th session of the United Nations General Assembly in New York. The, the protest had continued since then, but it was intensified on Monday, following the arrival of President Muhammad Buhari to the US. Sahara reporters had also reported that there was Tension at the Nigerian House in New York, the United States, after two groups of Nigerians in diaspora clashed in a protest as the president arrived. Buhari had earlier arrived in New York for the high level meetings of the 76th session of the United Nations General Assembly. The Nigerian president will address the high-level session of the General Assembly on Friday, September 24, when he would speak on the theme of the conference and other global issues. However, drama had ensued on Monday when two groups of Nigerian protesters in the diaspora clashed as the president arrived. The groups converged at the Nigerian House on the 42nd Street and Avenue, 2nd Avenue, with opposing views about the conditions in Nigeria and its unity. One of the leaders of the counter group, Fulusha Aruleba, highlighted the various problems confronting Nigeria as a nation, asserting that there can be no peace without justice. She regretted that the Buhari administration had continued to borrow money among the declining value of the Naira. The 76th session of the General Assembly began on September 14 and would end on September 27th. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular 
history as it were. Nigerians in diaspora have taken different routes, dimensions to express their grief, to speak against the injustice, to speak against all that they have seen and experienced that or believe that Nigeria is going through or has gone through as it were. The question is, it is unfortunate that um, Nigeria is going through this, but how and when, how come do we now have counter protests? This simply is the handiwork of Mr. President Camp, who, according to some reports, hired some persons, paid them to counter protest in the New York, which have led to the Nina's group or those who are seeking secession, that is the group who are seeking secession or referendum, as the case may be, to employ other avenues and strategies to actually carry out their campaign, protest, and send across their message to the world, which to a very large extent, you know, is can be judged to be making headway or to be moving out. It is what it is. With these guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? This is what we are talking about. With the way things are, it is evident that the government of President Mahmoud Buhari does not want to give up the seat of presidency and at the same time he is not doing anything to even make things better for Nigerians. And why should that be? Why should that be in the first place? The government is supposed to make life better for the people. The government is supposed to make things better for Nigerians. The government is supposed to make things you know, much more interesting, but that is not the case. And that is why you see Nigerians are protesting. Nigerians are saying that the country, the amalgamation has expired. Let everybody go their separate ways, you know. But even if it is true or right that there is um, unity in diversity, there is love and all what have you, there is an advantage in Nigerians' diversity. But it has to be a fair one, a just one, and a kind one to every party. Not a situation whereby a particular region, you know, supersedes or is seen to dominate other regions. No. That is why if Nigeria has to remain, there has to be a renegotiation, there has to be a new constitution, and there has to be a way, a, a better, um, you know, way of ensuring that justice, fairness, and peace is actually the core of the togetherness. What are your thoughts, guys, concerning this? Please drop by at the comment section. Let's know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you guys on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.